G'day Legends, Blake here with another video and have you seen clown loaches at your local fish store or at your friend's place and you thought that they were really cool and you wanted to pick some up but you just weren't quite sure? Well after today's video I'm going to run you through all the pros and cons, all the pitfalls to avoid so that you're prepared for if you do want to take that plunge. So here you can see my little group of clown loaches here, an awesome fish that comes from Indonesia. Now they're known for their striking patterns and colors with that orange and dark tiger stripe. And they're also known for some pretty quirky behavior. A lot of fish keepers have been scared by clown loaches seeming to be dead because they sleep on their side and just sort of lay around uh, motionless. So do be mindful that you might get the occasional heart attack if you do decide to keep these guys. Another cool thing about clown loaches is that sometimes, especially when they're happy, you can hear an audible clicking noise. Now it's something that's very unique to these guys, but pretty cool if you are able to hear it. Now the biggest reason I'd recommend people away from keeping clown loaches is that they grow exceptionally big. In some cases they can grow up to 16 to 20 inches, which is about 50 centimeters, which is going to be massive. If you think about most aquariums, even large aquariums like a 75 gallon or a four foot aquarium, that's wider than the entire tank. So do keep that in mind. The good thing is though, it's going to take a long time for them to grow that big. So you are able to Actually, this is a fish that you are actually able to start off with potentially a smaller tank and upgrade as time goes on. It's going to take many, many years for them to get up to that point, though they are a long lived fish. They can live up to 10 to 20 years in good care. So they're, they're definitely a commitment. Other considerations for the tank that you're going to set them up in, they're going to like soft, slightly acidic water in that sort of high 6 to, to 7 pH range. They are not plant safe in my opinion. They do poke little pinholes and shred at plants like you can see in my poor java fern in the back. So if you do have a really uh, finely aquascaped aquarium, clown leeches are not the fish for you because they're going to get that sort of big boisterous clumsiness and also poke those holes as I mentioned. Now they are a beautiful peaceful fish, they have a great nature to them, they're not going to bother anything, although they are also a scaleless fish. You can probably see they've got some nice smooth skin. This does make them more susceptible to diseases like ick and other uh, external parasites though. So they're not great to be housed with anything that's going to be aggressive. Keep it to really peaceful things. Rainbow fish are a good option. Tetras, that sort of thing. St giant danios are another potential option, but not cichlids and things that are likely to pick at them, annoy them and stress them out because that's where you will run into issues. In terms of feeding, clown leeches have an omnivorous diet and they also will likely eat snails. That might be good news for some, it might be bad news for others, but uh, that can be a good thing if you do have snails that you don't want in your aquarium. Clown leeches and other loaches are definitely helpful for that. But they're going to be a bottom feeder as they are mostly a bottom dweller. So feed them uh, omnivorous sinking foods and they should take to pretty much anything. They'll also really love uh, crustaceans and other things like that. So they're not shrimp safe, not snail safe, and uh, anything in that sort of range is not going to be a good idea for clown leeches. And as you can see by my clown leeches, we got a few here, a few there. Usually they are grouped up a little bit tighter than this, but they're incredibly social. They love to hang out with other clown leeches. So especially when we're considering how big they're going to get uh, and you want to keep them in a group of six to ten, that means you're going to have to get a large aquarium. This aquarium here is an eight by two foot aquarium, so it's plenty big for these guys, but even sort of a 75 gallon is not really big enough. I'd recommend a six foot aquarium and above. And if you can get a two foot uh, wide aquarium, that's going to be even better. As I mentioned, after sort of eight to 10 years, they're going to be pretty big in that sort of 16 to 20 inch mark or uh, 40 to 50 centimeters mark. So make sure that you have an aquarium that they can actually turn around in. They also quite love to hide in logs and things like that. And this aquarium, you're not really able to see it, but I've set it up so that these are all hollow logs all the way in the middle. And they quite love to swim all the way through in amongst it, in amongst the plants and all that sort of stuff. So give them caves and other habitat that they can interact with. They really love hanging around, finding different hidey holes and all that sort of thing. So that's clown loaches in a nutshell. So there you go guys, that is my rundown on whether or not to pick up clown loaches. I absolutely love them and I would recommend you doing so as long as you can provide the right environment for them. 
If you're not familiar with me, I'm a massive planted aquarium guy. So if I'm still recommending a fish that's not exactly plant safe, you know it must be a good one. If you want another care video, I've got one right here for you to click on. You can check that one out. But if you did like the video, it always helps me out too. Smash like, hit subscribe and all that fun stuff. Good luck with your future clown lurch keeping or any fish keeping in general. And I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.